Welcome back to the Morning Blend. If you were ever hurt at work and you were no longer able to continue doing your job, would you know who to turn to for help? Our next guest is a specialist in disability and workers' compensation. He's here to help you understand your options. Alex Eichhorn is an attorney and partner at Tayback Law. Good to see you again. Well, thank you for having me Great again. Great to see you. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. The weather's beautiful outside, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I love it. Let's get out and enjoy it. It's going to be a great it. weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, facetious we are. Um, if someone's injured at work, you know, I think that's one of those times when you just, sometimes you're at a loss, you don't know what to do. This is what you guys specialize in. It absolutely is. And again, I know I've been on several times before, and I hope the message has gotten across that the call is free. Yeah. You give my office a call, you're going to speak with an attorney or a very skilled paralegal. Uh, my paralegal, Sarah DeSalvo, is wonderful and has been doing this for, for quite some time now and uh, will certainly be able to guide you in the right direction. The call's free. Uh, we're going to give you information that's going to best suit yourself. And oftentimes it may be that you don't need to retain an attorney immediately. So we'll give you the information to protect yourself moving forward. Um, and once, once you have that, if indeed there is a denial or something goes wrong, we're there uh, to take your next call. So. And the reality is, too, is that if you're hurt on the job, um, there, there are benefits that, yeah. that not only are um, uh, available, um, but th that you deserve because you, you, you've been injured while performing your, your duties. And that's right. So there's certainly a difference between a work injury and, say, an automobile accident. There's, there's a trade-off. You're, you're sometimes entitled to slightly less money. You're not entitled to pain and suffering and workers' compensation. However, there's no liability. You don't have to prove liability that it was your fault or the employer's fault. The fact that the injury occurred on the job entitles you to certain benefits such as lost wages, um, payment of reasonable and necessary medical expenses, and sometimes uh, a larger claim that we see when all those benefits are, are conceded, meaning the work comp agrees that it was a work injury, agrees to pay medical bills, agrees to pay lost wages, one of the larger claims, and oftentimes a claim that goes unnoted and, and in the long run unpaid, is a loss of earning capacity claim. So if you're injured at work and you're unable to return to the duties that you uh, were doing, so let's say one of us, for example, we have more desk jobs. If you hurt your back and you're unable to stay seated for longer than 30 minutes or maybe even an hour, you can no longer do your job. So you have several options thereafter. Because you're put in a position where your earning capacity has been largely diminished, the workers' compensation company has a duty to put you back in the place that you were prior to the injury. Mm. So that's a claim that's never conceded, never uh, noted by the workers' compensation company, and oftentimes, like I said, goes unpaid unless you speak with an attorney who knows the law and knows how to get these benefits for you. And they can be substantial, several hundred thousand dollars or, or more if indeed you're put in a position where you cannot continue the work. So yeah. it's worth the call. Yeah. Very important. You mentioned, you know, just to contact you, that's a free call. If someone retains you, uh, what does it cost to have an attorney? So there's no cost at all. And we vet every client that we take on quite a bit. So I'm not taking on every client who calls. Yeah. Um, however, we do have a model of helping helping anyone who's injured. So if you call me, I'm going to give you the information that's necessary. It doesn't cost a single dollar to answer your question, yeah. unless indeed we're successful in getting you benefits that you otherwise would not have received. So hypothetically, like I said, we could uh, take on your claim and attempt to help you. And if in the end we're unfortunately unable to, which is infrequent, uh, you wouldn't pay us a dollar. We request your medical records, we request reports from doctors, and that can be thousands of dollars that my firm is putting out there that if indeed we're unsuccessful in getting benefits, we eat. We don't get paid back on that. We're not sending you invoices to pay us. So yeah. um, it's free unless we're successful in getting you benefits. And then it's only 20%. It's not your wow. standard third rate like in a personal injury claim. So it, it's uh, a lot less than a that personal injury less. claim. Yeah, yeah, I would think a fifth rather than a yeah. third. Um, I would think a lot of people are confused um, when they've been injured at work. And I would, I, I would think some of the questions are, is this something where I'm entitled to certain benefits? They're just not quite sure. Right. Um, because I think a lot of us are sort of unaware of what, what our, our options are um, on the job if we were to get hurt. Yeah, and that's exactly right. So when you are injured on the job, you are certainly entitled to benefits. And again, those benefits are lost wages. If, if you're going to be off of work, how are you going to support yourself? You're entitled to that lost wage. And, and that's a cost of doing business. I'm a, I'm a small business owner myself. I understand that I have employees and when, if in indeed they're injured on the job, I have a duty to protect their well-being. I mean, it's the reality of it. So um, it's, you are entitled to it. The state of Wisconsin has set forth benefits that every injured worker is entitled to. And if you're not getting them, um, it's, it's not your own doing. Oftentimes it's either the workers' compensation company hasn't 
um, hasn't investigated adequately mm -hmm. enough mm -hmm. or has made a, a poor decision to deny a claim that I oftentimes see as compensable. Yeah, so it could be an injured back. Are there other things that you often see that people maybe just don't think, oh, I should contact someone? Absolutely, so really any injury. We largely deal with backs, necks, um, injuries of the head, whether it be post-traumatic uh, headaches or yeah. um, after, after some traumatic injury, but shoulders are a common one. We, mm. um, I was in, uh, in court just last week with an individual who had worked for a company for 25 years doing real heavy lifting out in front of her body and after 25 years both of her rotator cuffs needed yeah. uh, needed surgery surgical repair um, and unfortunately the workers compensation company did not see a correlation between oh. <gasps> her doing this for 25 years and this degenerative condition being accelerated um, so they denied coverage and we were able to get her the benefits that she deserved in the end so uh, it was a, a win. I know what that surgery is like and That's it's important. not pleasant. Yeah so. and if you need You're not opting to do that surgery for fun. Yeah. yeah. Definitely true. <laughs> it's really Good great. Yeah, yeah so people should just call you contact your office set up an mm -hmm. appointment it doesn't cost anything to do that con uh, consultation it also doesn't cost anything for you to represent them it's only if they win they pay yes. that 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 20%. percentage um, and if, if if for some reason it's not successful in court, then they pay nothing. That's exactly right. It pays to make the call. If you're injured at work or have questions about it, it's 414-351-4400. It's a no risk, um, a no obligation, disability and workers compensation case. If you want an evaluation call today, you can also visit them online. It's taybackattorneys.com. Great to see you. Thanks, Alex. Well, thank you again Appreciate for having it. me. Go enjoy the great weather. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>